Hi guys, and thanks for watching our weather update on June 26, 2023. Just today, we're going through our usual um, our usual sequence of the satellite imagery, the five day forecast, and the models on weather.d. So, starting with our satellite from wind.com, we can see that we've got a warm front across Ireland now, pushing in from the Atlantic, with Ireland and the UK covered by its. Um, high base clouds and in the Atlantic we've got a big cold front trailing and that will be coming through to us um, tomorrow night into Wednesday and we've got an occluded front towards the, towards the south of Iceland so this is a classic low pressure this is a classic low pressure system of um, three fronts the occluded front, the warm front and the cold front and the warm sector that will be with us tomorrow. If we look at the radar, we can see that uh, we've got some thunderstorms across Europe and across America. Um, this feature today was very intense across Denmark, Germany, Holland, into Sweden and Poland. Um, but now we've got some drizzle coming in from the west on that warm front. And that is seen very nicely on this UKV chart right here. Um, you can see that today's showers start off. Some showers were heavy in the north, but tonight we can see that rain drizzle pushing from the west. Um, most persistent across northern areas, um, but all areas seeing some damp weather. That clears off into tomorrow morning, though it stays quite damp, especially in the north, with, actually, with some quite heavy pulses of rain possibly pushing through there around lunchtime. But in the end, those clear off, um, and it dries off, especially in the south. The, nor the northern areas do still stay quite drizzly. Um, into Tuesday evening, a cold front moves southeastwards. At this point, it's weak. It's just a band of light rain. But if, it, but, but if I push forward, it peps up significantly if it goes to night. At midnight, at 1 a.m., it's basically nothing. That cold front's basically dying out across... Um, Central Ireland into Northern England, but I'm going to push on and it really peps up from the west. Um, it reinvigorates itself and um, turns into quite a nasty area of rain. So that could be another active cold front to, to watch out for. There could be a school line, as you can see, for western areas there by that line of very heavy rain at Wednesday at 6am, or almost at 6am. And that pushes eastwards, a bout of heavy rain, strong winds, um, clearing to sunshine and a few showers into Wednesday afternoon, but cooler as well. And we push into um, Wednesday nights, and what happens is we turn clearer and cooler um, into Thursday. A few showers break out, but otherwise it's dry. Into Friday, the next um, set of fronts pushes in from the west, so some heavy rain coming in from the west. Um, we, we're going to be seeing this for the next few weeks, this sort of pattern. Into Saturday, we get cloudy weather and some showers off, off the Atlantic before it goes sunnier into, um, which is it, that's Friday night, and, and Saturday goes sunnier um, with uh, winds in from the northwest. Temperatures, next, we see how these look. They could look quite cool, especially um, Wednesday, Thursday time. Um, Today, temperatures got towards the high teens. It was quite a cool day, as we're still in the uh, cooler air mass following yesterday's cold front and preceding today's warm front. Tonight, temperatures actually rise through the night, especially in the west, with temperatures starting around 14 degrees and rising to um, the high teens, while further east, it stays quite cool. Tomorrow, the warm air um, envelops the country entirely and by afternoon we're into the uh, low 20s in the southeast high teens elsewhere Tuesday night sees the things cooling down from, from sees things cooling down from the northwest for northern areas but the warm air creeps back northwards and is pushed away eastwards again as more as another cold front comes eastwards and Wednesday is cooler than Tuesday, with, with temperatures maxing out at around 20 in the southeast and high teens elsewhere. But Wednesday night sees things going quite cold, 
especially for the Midlands and East, with, with temperatures going down into the, into the um, single figures, while for the West it says um, it's slightly less cold, that's around 10 or 11 degrees. Thursday, temperatures in the high teens across the boards. Into uh, Thursday nights, again it, it was quite cold, especially for the East of the country, temperatures just getting into the uh, Getting into the single figures into Friday, things um, temperatures try to rise but don't get much luck, only maxing around 16 degrees quite widely. Then into the uh, night of Friday night, um, we see um, low low teens, so quite a bit a little bit chilly, but not as chilly as uh, the as not as that will precede it. And into uh, Saturday, um, low low twenties. Low twenties in the southeast, high teens elsewhere. Now chart data time. So what will the other gods bring us over the next few weeks? We'll see now. Um. So as uh, as we've established, we see a warm front across tomorrow night, or across tonight actually, and um we we'll see a warm a warm sector coming come through tomorrow. So quite a warm day tomorrow, but humid and drizzly and windy. Um, into Wednesday morning, a cold front moves through, as shown by the kink in the, by the kink in the outer bars. And we go into Thursday, um, and we're into a cooler no- northwesterly wind with a few showers. Before another front moves in on Friday, and reintroduces some warmer air. Um, before um, low pressure moves towards the, the North Sea and drives the wind in from the northwest. So by the end of ne- ne- by, the, so by the end of next weekend, we're looking for quite cool and showery, and it stays that way into early um, next week. By the way, this gets us to like uh, early July, and that looks just like so low pressure slap bang, like literally slap bang over the country. Um, rain showers spiraling around that low pressure, um, and it just keeps going. That that was quite deep there on the eighth of July, and it keeps going. It keeps going. It keeps going. Although compared to the uh, first week of July, the second week of July has higher pressure, but not really a high pressure itself. Um, still got lowest pressure around. Um, so still with rain showers. The ECMWF run is next, and it looks like this. So we got the warm, so we got the warm sector tonight to tomorrow. I like cold front on Wednesday, cooler air with, with showers Wednesday and Thursday before the front comes in on Friday. Um, as as we've seen, bringing that heavy rain, and winds going northwesterly into the weekends. Now I think the uh, ECM is a bit more pronounced with this. Uh, Low pressure being cl- cl- closer to us from the start, from like Sunday, while the GFS w- waits till like Tuesday to, to get this sort of pattern. So um, I think this is some- something to watch, like the timing of the area of low pressure sinking at the timing of the area of low pressure sinking down over us. That's something to watch over the next few days, as w- as well as like cold front coming through Wednesday, um, and that stays there. Into the into um Thursday July sixth so quite a cool and wet first part of July, I say with that sort of pattern, with lo- with with uh, low pressure right over us, and we mainly convection based, meaning that there will be sunshine be- sunshine between the showers or, or thunderstorms. Um, we can see that um going through um tomorrow we see a warm sector going through. And um, we see a cold front there Wednesday morning, before cooler air comes through Wednesday and Thursday, with high pressure, with high pressure t- towards the Azores, and low pressure towards Iceland. That, by the way, um, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna go off here, but I'm gonna uh, um, t- I'm gonna um, talk about something quite interesting. Have you ever heard of the NAO? Um, it's it stands for the uh, North, uh, the North. Atlantic Oscillation, and it basically is an index um, that is um, driven by the difference in pressure between Iceland and the Azores. Um, so, the, so Iceland's here, and the Azores are down there. Um, and 
this is a perfect example of a positive NAO. So when the NAO is in positive territory, you've got low pressure around Iceland to, or towards Iceland and high pressure towards the Azores. That is perfect. That would be a very positive NAO that that looks like for, for Friday, June 30th, if that came off. That looks really quite... That is per perfectly positive. And if it's negative, you've got high pressure towards Iceland and low, and low pressure and low pressure towards the Azores. Um, and that is a perfect example. Slap bang. That, that's a perfect slap bang positive NAO there for um, the end of June. So that's quite interesting. I just thought I'd say that because that actually looks perfect. Um, into, the, into the first part of July, again, the area of low pressure comes through on Sunday and brings us these uh, cooler and showery air masses. Um, th this is a GM run, this is a Canadian run. Um, so you can see that um, going through into Thursday, that cooler air mass comes through after the cold front on Wednesday. Um, that warm front comes through Friday, briefly milder, but then, but then the cold front will, will, will push through Friday night or Saturday. We, we, introducing a cool and showery air mass that will stay with us into next week. Um, as far as uh, July 6th, anyway. Um, this is the Icon run. So, this shows um, that warm sector tomorrow, cold front tomorrow night, Wednesday, and showers into Wednesday and Thursday. Friday sees a front, and um, that stays with us into um I should I say Saturday and Sunday and we pull down like cooler and showery north westerly winds into Monday next week and winds go northerly on this icon run actually northerly winds in July um upper air temperatures that zero Celsius ice time is getting really, really quite close to Scotland um who knows who knows but that was quite chilly and showery and finally we have the Arpege the French run and this shows um, that warm that warm that warm sexy tomorrow, followed by a cold front and followed by cooler and showery weather for a few days, before um, we see more bouts of wet and windy weather off off the Atlantic for the end of June. So that so um, that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.